am back with another lesson from grade 7th english and for a change today we are going to do literature by far we have done quite a few topics of grammar and i hope that you have understood them uh, we have discussed them in our google meet also the exercises you have done very nicely and i wish that you will continue doing so we will discuss the exercises in our google meet and today's uh, chapter will be from literature and a very interesting story that we are going to see today one story which every child every kid associates himself with okay so if i will ask you that uh, at your free time after coming from school when the school was reopened or when the school was opened when uh, today also you are busy in the classes so afterwards whenever you get free time the kids of uh, till grade 8th or 7th or 6th your grade what do you do most of the answers will be that in our free time we jell around with our friends we roam around we play okay during corona it was uh, not that much but now the things are getting better the you are more uh, free now with your friends and if i will ask you that with your friends what you do one thing that the uh, that will be the uh, general answer will be that we ride a bicycle okay so every kid enjoys riding a bicycle this is the thing that every boy or girl likes you roam around with your cycle with your friends in a team in a group of 3 or 4 or alone you roam here and there in your colonies so this thing every boy every girl every kid loves so Uh, here we have a story that is based on the same bicycle okay a story about bicycle on a good repair bicycle on a good repair so this story we are going to see today the story that you will enjoy we all love bicycles in my childhood i have enjoyed it you must have enjoyed it we all learn bicycles and we love the journey that we have on it so this story is a very interesting one it is just like you it is about a boy just like you and he also enjoys the rides with one of his friends this story is written by one of a very famous renowned author jerome k jerome okay so this story tells us about the boy how he bends with his bicycle and how he makes friends and how his bicycle got broke and how he manages to repair it so everything that uh, a journey of a bicycle is there is shown in the story and i really wish i really know that you will enjoy this story so keep on watching till last and uh, do the work that i am going to assign you so uh, i am one from dps anwari damachow let's together see what the story Okay so we are starting the chapter bicycle in good repair i have already introduced you with the story and uh, a very general topic is there bicycle everyone loves so let's start before we read if you wish to go on a long bicycle ride the bicycle should be in good condition if possible an expert mechanic should overhaul it okay overhaul means to look after it to lead it but what happens if the machine has a will of its own and the mechanic knows next to nothing okay but here the twist is there that machine is acting on its own and the good mechanic the expert mechanic can also do nothing about it so this is story is that only that where the bicycle uh, gets broke and what happens we will see in the story soon a bicycle in good repair a man i knew proposed one evening we should go for a long bicycle ride together on the following day and i agreed so a man i knew here the writer is not saying his friend or anyone else he is saying a man i knew so 
a different style of writing here the writer is not very uh, straight he is just telling you that a man I knew that means he must be familiar with men but not such a friend not very friendly a man I knew proposed one evening that we should go for a bicycle ride together on the following day following day means next day and the writer agreed the narrator agreed I got up early for me I made an effort and was pleased with myself so first thing what the writer did was to wake up early as the bicycle ride was going to take place in the morning so what the writer did he woke up very early in the morning it was a very strong effort by the writer and he was successful in waking up early and he was very pleased with himself also he was very overjoyed that he has done what he desired to he came half an hour late see the writer was ready in the morning itself uh, and was very overjoyed with uh, what he has done but this the man who the writer knew whom with he was going to go for a bicycle ride arrived half an hour late it was a lovely day okay i was waiting for him in the garden it was a lovely day so the writer was waiting in his garden for the man to come and it was a very lovely day he said that is a good looking machine of yours how does it run okay so the first thing the man noticed was the bicycle and he said that uh, that is a very good looking machine of yours how does it run okay by looks it is lo uh, it is looking very nice but how does it function is it the same that how he, it looks it works the same manner oh like most of them i answered the writer said yes like the most of them uh, it works the same manner like every cycle does every bicycle does easily enough in the morning goes a little stiffly after lunch okay so oh like most of them here the uh, personification is used what is personification when you uh, when the li non living things act as living ones when you show them as living ones suppose you say the sky is talking with me so can the sky talk no but you are saying it so it is called personification here also writer is saying that oh like every one like every other cycle it also does in the same way it is very fast it is very smooth in the morning and it becomes stiff in the in the afternoon time after having lunch okay so the bicycle does it eat no but here the writer is saying that after the lunch it becomes very stiff he caught hold of it by the front wheel and the fork and shook it violently okay so what the man did he caught he hold the cycle from its front and uh, the wheel front wheel and the fork fork is uh, the uh, stand in between where the seat is there the uh, pipe is there in the cycle that is called the fork so he caught it hold from there and he shook it so the writer became a little worried about his cycle and he said i said don't do that you'll hurt it see here the things being said about the writer uh, sorry about the bicycle is uh, looking like they are talking about a human being a living being i did not see why he should shake it 
it had not done anything to him so again the writer talking about the bicycle like it is a person that i do not know why he shook it it has done nothing with him it had not done anything to the man it is very innocent it had caused no harm to the stranger to the sorry the man but still the man was shaking it violently so the writer was saying making this statement that it is innocence innocent and it has done nothing but so why the man is punishing it besides if it besides if it wanted shaking i was the proper person to shake it okay so the writer is saying that uh, if it would have asked for the shaking thing it would have asked to me not him because i am the true owner of the bicycle i felt much as i should had he started waking my dog so he was see here he is comparing the bicycle with his dog that i felt the same way that uh, if he would have shaked my dog i would have felt the same way he said this front wheel wobbles wobble means unsteadily from side to side very shaky this front wheels wobbles the man made a statement that the front wheel is not in the right condition it is uh, wobbling i said it doesn't if you do not wobble it it will not shake it will not if you will not shake it if if you will not wobble it it didn't wobble as a matter of fact nothing worth calling a wobble so the writer was getting a little frustrated he was saying that because of you only the bicycle is um, going into this state that the front wheel is uh, wobbling he said this is dangerous have you got a hammer so the man said this is very dangerous have you got a hammer i ought to have been firm but i thought that perhaps he really did know something about the business okay so the writer would have said easily no that no you will cause more harm to my bicycle but the writer think uh, the writer thought that yes maybe this man is knowing something about the bicycle and can fix my bicycle i went to the tool shed to see what i could find so the writer went inside the tool shed to see that what can be found for the bicycle when i came back he was sitting on the ground with the front wheel between his legs so when the writer came back from the uh, from the store from the shed he found that the man was sitting with the, the front wheel between his legs he was playing with it twiddling it round between his fingers the remnant of the machine was lying on the gravel path beside him so what the right uh, what the man had done he had removed the wheel from the bicycle and the remaining part was lying and he was playing with the front wheel putting it between his legs and just twiddling it just twisting it he said it looks to me as if the bearings were all wrong so he said that i am sensing that the bearings the little bearings you have seen uh, the black small marble kind of a thing i said don't you trouble about it any more you will make yourself tired let us put it back and get off so the writer now was very pissed off very frustrated he said that don't worry much about it now just uh, make it back to the normal state like it was before and we should we should proceed then he said we may as well see what is the matter with it now it is out so the man said that no no 
we must uh, see that what is the matter what is the fault with the bicycle when we have dismantled it he talked as though it had dropped out by accident he was uh, making a statement like everything has been done because of a because of an accident before i could stop him he had unscrewed something somewhere and outrolled all over the path some dozen or so little balls okay so what happened before the writer could have stopped the man small little balls fell over the path and the bicycle was much more broke catch them he shouted so the man shouted that catch them catch m means catch them catch them we must not lose any of them he was quite excited about them so for the man it was all fun and the writer it was all in the bad taste he was not uh, having any fun with his bicycle being uh, broke but the man was enjoying every bit of it we groveled around grovel round for half an hour and found 16 so 16 of the balls they found he said he hoped we had got them all because if not it would make a serious difference to the machine okay so he had uh, he said that uh, i wish that only 16 would have been there and we have got them all because if it is not the condition it would make a serious difference to the machine a very bad thing may happen with the machine if we have lost any of the small ball the bearing ball i put them for safety in my hat it was not a sensible thing to do i admit so the uh, writer put his uh, uh, the balls he had caught in his hat and he believes that he has made a wrong thing because it can again go down and it can be lost so by far we have seen that how the writer planned a bicycle ride with a man whom he knew he is not saying he is his very good friend or something like that but he is just saying that he knows the man so they both um, started off for a journey and they wanted to roam in the bicycle but what happened the man who was there he opened the cycle the front wheel the bearings came out the writer was very passionate about his cycle he was referring to the cycle as a uh, person once he referred once he compared it with the dog also so he was very touchy about the cycle and what happened the cycle got broke and uh, eventually the uh, the ball bearings whatever is inside the cycle it came out and now they both were uh, finding the ball bearings now in the next part we will see what happens next whether the man is successful in uh, repairing the cycle or not or what happens uh, do they have an argument or how the things will unfold we will together see in the next part okay so here the part 1 of the chapter concludes the story is divided as in your book also in two parts the first part was very interesting we see that how the boy got his bicycle how the man was there how how the another person was there with somebody he went and how his bicycle broke the bearings were all around 16 of them they caught and how they did everything so in the next part we are going to see what happens next whether the bicycle could be repaired or not or whether how the boy and his friend went to a journey on the bicycle or not so this is a very interesting story very relatable one so after this i am going to give you some work also that work you have to do in your fair notebook and in case of any confusion that will be there with this part you can always ask so i am one from tps advani nawajaw you are watching video classes thank you so much for watching the